Thank you for joining us. First up at 6 o'clock, the fight to keep you and your cars safer at home. State officials are taking on two major automakers, saying their vehicles are just too easy to steal. Well, Connecticut is joining a multi-state effort to get 10 years worth of Kias and Hyundais recalled. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo explains the urgency behind all this. Well, there's tons of social media videos with step-by-step -step instructions on how to hotwire Kias and Hyundais. And in some cases, it's as simple as breaking into the steering column and plugging in a USB cable to bypass the car's ignition system. Police in Waterbury say it's a problem in the city that's growing, and the attorney general says it's up to the automakers to fix it. Strange cars are always being left here weeks on end until the cops found them. Pierrette Lefebvre says she's sick of seeing stolen cars block the curb in front of her home on Giles Street. Does it feel kind of like a dumping ground for yes. stolen cars? Yes, for everything. Waterbury police confirm 189 stolen cars have been recovered in the city this year, speeding past last year's total of 90. And they say Hyundais and Kias are leading in this unfortunate race of five-fingered four-wheel discount. So we did see an increase in those cars in July of 22, beginning in July of 22, shortly after these do-it-yourself or how-to videos came out on the internet. These videos are prolific. Attorney General William Tong is blaming both automakers. Tong has joined officials from 17 other states and the District of Columbia, pushing the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to recall Kias and Hyundais. I don't want to hear how much money that's going to cost. They know this is a problem. These vehicles are unsafe. He says cars made between 2011 and 2022 are featured in social media videos for a reason. 11 years, okay? Over that 11 year period, these companies, Hyundai and Kia, chose not to include anti-theft devices when every other manufacturer was putting anti-theft technology in their cars. Tong says he approached the automakers back in March, and while they started customer awareness campaigns and offered software updates to fix the flaw, it's not enough. And they can't rely on local police departments to hand out steering wheel locks and, and to take care of this issue ourselves. It's As for how many Kias and Hyundais are essentially sitting ducks with their ignition systems, while well, Tong and the other attorneys general estimate it could be about 8 million. Reporting in Waterbury, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.